Mr. James will see you now. Now, Mrs. Bell, Mr. Pooter here is a medical student. Would you object to him observing? Oh, no, there's nothing I like more than having a gormless adolescent youth peering into my splayed vagina. No, not at all. Good. Now, this, Pooter, we will not be requiring today. This could be useful later. And this is essential. You know, my moped saves me 17 minutes a day. Of course, I ride her damn hard. Try to relax if you can, please, Lucy. Shove a traffic cone up your ass, mate, and see if you can relax. I will try. Good. There we are. All done. You'll be a bit slippery in the downstairs department for a while. It's the lubricant jelly. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. That was me. You've got lovely guts. Beautiful, really beautiful. Good big healthy bowel too. Facilitates a really superb movement, I should imagine. Big soft spongy stools. Well done. So, what do we have here? <coughs> um, endometriosis, adhesions on the abdominal cavity, malignant fibroids on the uterus, cysts, diseases in the abdominal cavity, congenital problems in the womb. Oh, my God. And you haven't got any of them. Super guts. Really super. Also, you've ovulated recently, which is tremendous news. Can't make an omelette without eggs. Hmm? And by omelette, I mean, of course, baby. So, there we have it, Lucy. Everything fine, nothing wrong at all. Except that I'm not pregnant. Apart, of course, from you not being pregnant, but we don't know why you're not, which is in itself tremendous news. Is it? Yeah. Well, it could have been that you had a cyst the size of Pavarotti on your ute, and I was going to have to remove everything remotely feminine from your ribs to your kneecaps. But no, you are what is medically known as non-specifically infertile. Or to give it its full scientific description, we do not have a bloody clue. Very common condition. Very common indeed. In the world of infertility, that is. 